friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barb and as you can see we are well into the holiday season with just under two weeks left until Christmas and many of you are still scrambling for last minute gifts to buy and I've got some great ideas here for you today. One thing we learned during the pandemic is the most precious gift we can give anyone is our time. So the first thing I'm going to suggest are some experiences that you can do with your loved ones. Tickets to a trampoline park, loads of indoor fun. Even if you live in a cold area, this is a great fun thing to do. A local aquarium or zoo, a local theater. They put on plays for the whole family. They know that kids are home for, uh, I was going to say spring break. <laughs> I wish. But kids are home for the holiday break and they know it. And they put on lots of family oriented plays. A great family time. Okay, also an escape room. There are loads of fun. It's one of my favorite things to do. Okay, now truth be told, I'm not good at it. I'm not good at escaping. I think I only ever have once, but I love the experience and I love trying. Another idea, online classes. A lot of people like to take online classes, not necessarily to get a degree, but to learn a new skill. So do you have someone in your life that has been wanting to do something and to learn something? This would be a really neat thing that you could do for them. Also in Columbus, Ohio, we have something called COSI. It's the Center of Science and Industry. It's a wonderful indoor place to go where you can experience hands-on science. And it's good for younger people, middle-aged, old, doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's fun for everyone. They have theaters where they show science movies, it's just a really cool place to go. So if you have a local science center, that would be another great idea. Another idea would be a massage and you can do it two ways. You could go with the person to get the massage or you could give a couple's massage. Another idea, mani pedis. Now I personally will not pay for a mani pedi, but my sister treated me to one several years ago and I absolutely loved the experience. So again, another great idea. Another idea other than experiences would be services. It's a great idea. It won't clutter up the home and they're appreciated by everyone. So what about an Audible or a Kindle subscription? So whether your reader is a visual reader or an audio reader, just get them an annual subscription. Another idea is a cleaning service. Who doesn't need help cleaning the house? So whether it's a one-time thing, a once a week thing, once a month thing, it's a great, great gift to give. So whether it's a mom with littles, maybe it's a working mom, maybe it's an older mom that's retired and she's just tired and would just love the help. So that's another idea. Car detailing. Who wouldn't love to have their car detailed? I won't pay to have my car detailed, but I would love to have my car detailed. Child care for a date night or two. So what a great gift to give someone you love. Give them a chance to get out, be together as a couple, know that their children are well cared for. We loved it when people did that for us when our kids were young. These are all examples of services that can be given as gifts to your loved ones. Folks, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like and subscribe button below. That really helps my channel. So now we're going to talk about consumable gifts that get used up and do not leave clutter in your home. Okay, the first one I'm going to talk about is the homemade dinner. We have learned that very few people actually cook. So either they don't know how or they don't take the time to cook homemade dinners. That is becoming a lost art, but everyone loves a homemade dinner. And we all know that food cooked by somebody else tastes way better than if we made it ourselves. So my challenge to you, if you enjoy cooking, give somebody a coupon for a homemade dinner for the night of their choice and just cook them a homemade dinner. And it doesn't need to be fancy. It just needs to be homemade. And if you want to add a dessert, go ahead, but you don't need to. But that is a wonderful, much appreciated gift. My next idea is for a digital picture frame with photos already loaded. And I would say this is one of my top ideas that I think people are going to love. Grandparents are going to love pictures of their grandbabies. Parents like us who don't have grandbabies would love pictures of our kids and the pictures from throughout the year of all the different adventures and things they've been doing or college kids. 
um, away from home or your kid that's moved away, got a job and they don't get to see you all the time, they would love pictures from home. That would really help with the homesickness. And I'm sure there are lots of other scenarios that you can think of where people would love a digital picture frame loaded up with family photos. Okay, so now let's talk about gift baskets. You can put anything you want in a gift basket. It can be store-bought, it can be homemade, it doesn't matter, the sky is the limit. Have fun with it. I'm gonna give you some ideas. I'm sure you can think of many more. So if you have a loved one that's a health nut, we all have a loved one that's a health nut, make a snack basket do some healthy drinks and maybe some fruits, some vegetables, some healthy snack bars. They're going to really love and appreciate that. Make sure that the snack bars are high in protein. Another idea would be a meat and cheese basket. You've seen them from like Pepperidge Farms and other places, and you can just do one homemade. Get some summer sausage and whatever your favorite cheese is, and you know, put them together, put some crackers, and anything else you want to add. You could put some sparkling grape juice in there or a bottle of wine, just whatever your thing is. You do you. Another idea would be a movie night basket. Put in some popcorn and anywhere you can get those, you know, the box candies like they sell in the movie theater. You can put several of those in there. Just make it fun and put a homemade movie sign, you know, movie night on the front of the basket. A hot chocolate and cookie gift basket. You know, put in hot chocolate, put in some candy canes and some mini marshmallows, and maybe a couple different kinds of cookies. And again, they can be store bought. Um, you know, just make it really cute. Another one, I saw these online. By the way, you can actually buy pre-made gift baskets online. Now, I'm going to tell you they're pretty pricey, but you can actually do it. So another one would be like soup and rolls. So I actually um, saw this on, it's, it's one that you can order online, but you could make it at home and that would be like soup and rolls and, and cookies. And so just put the soup like in a canning jar so it won't spill. That would be great. And you could, you don't need to make homemade rolls. You could just get store-bought rolls and some cookies to put with it. That would be really cute. So these are just some ideas. And you know, if you want to take it up a notch, add cozy socks for whoever you're giving this to. Just some warm, fuzzy, cozy socks to kind of elevate the basket if you want to take it up a notch. That's great too. So that's all for gift baskets. My last idea is for everybody. This is 2022 and we all have lots of devices. So my last idea is a multi-device charging station. And in this day and age, we all have laptops, tablets, phones, watches that need charged. And so, and especially if it's a family that you're giving this to, if they already have one, it's okay. They won't mind having two because that way they can set one up in the bedroom and one up in the kitchen or dining room. So definitely they're not going to mind having two. So this is a great gift to give. It's super practical, super functional, and everybody needs one. So again, if you're going to actually purchase a gift, that by far would be my first pick. Okay, folks, there you have it. I've given you lots of ideas and I wish you well with your shopping. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and I'll see you in the next one.